Thank you. I'm sure you uh, are all uh, familiar with the Assistant Commissioner Mike Condon, State Crime Operations Command, who throughout the entirety of this uh, investigation has managed the state crime component of the joint uh, relationship with North Coast Region in the investigation of uh, the disappearance of Daniel Morecambe. Uh, we just wanted to give you an update on the search activity as it is at this time. Police and SES personnel continue to search a remote area of bushland near BOR looking for evidence. At this time, nothing of significance has been located. We expect the search to be very protracted and it's likely to take at least several weeks and probably a number of months to complete. Once the current search zone is completed, we will expand the perimeter as required and this may include local watercourses. We are committed to a complete and professional search effort and will devote all necessary resources to this task for as long as it takes. We will not leave the scene until we have exhausted all possible areas of examination. While we recognise media and public interest in the search, it is important that the team focuses on the task and are able to work uninterrupted. Because of the remote location, the passage of time, and environmental factors, the search will be intensive and difficult. Because of these difficulties, it is possible that despite all of our efforts, we may end up finding little or no evidence at the scene. The Morecambe family will, of course, be updated on any significant developments. Uh, as I indicated the other day, we're, while we're happy to take questions from you, any questions in relation to the investigation itself or anything leading up to the arrest uh, we are not able to comment on because the person is now before the criminal justice system. Are you able to confirm that you might search along the uh, Look, as indicated, we have a current search uh, grid. Uh, when we have completed that part of the work, we have a plan, and as and when required, we will expand the search area, and that may include local watercourses. How big will a potential search area be? Like, can you put a figure? Uh, Mike, are you able to yeah, That's unknown at this stage. Obviously, we're interested in the current search perimeter, and as the deputy has indicated, if there is a requirement to escalate the search perimeters, then we will do so. And what about in, uh, personnel on the ground? Are you getting more uh, police and SES? In? Yeah, that's scalable at the moment. We've got 45 SES and 20 police up there today. And there are a number of uh, specialist police and other specialists are supporting us in the current operation. Can you say, like, how far north you would go or south or east, just to pin it down? It, it, look, it, as I said, it's an unknown at this stage. We're focusing on the current area of search. And once we are completely satisfied that uh, no further searches can take place in that area, we will decide as to uh, what other areas, if any, may need searching. We've been talking downstream, though, downstream. Oh, look, look, I just uh, I don't think we can make a call on that at the moment. As I said, we have experts uh, at the primary scene that are giving us guidance in relation to our search areas, and we'll be guided by them as the days progress. Searching the waterways, will that involve draining? Uh, that's an unknown at this stage. How big is the current search area, and how are they searching it? Uh, it's a combination of... Oh, Probably the first thing that they're searching it on uh, hands and uh, walking through. It's a difficult uh, task. Uh, it's uh, quite a uh, muddy area, and uh, those that are involved at the moment uh, are using a lot of manual labour to uh, bring the product up to an area where it can be thoroughly searched by specialist officers with the QPS. How is everyone there involved, uh, SES and police, holding up, I guess, physically and mentally? Uh, very enthusiastic about the task. Uh, it's a commitment to the SES and those officers, some of which have been there uh, for quite some time, uh, and we expect that we'll be there for several weeks, possibly months. And have they indicated that everyone involved at the moment wants to stay until the end? Uh, they're rotating through, particularly from the SES uh, perspective, uh, but uh, we've had outstanding service over the years from the SES and there's no shortage of volunteers. What progress has been made and do you hope, or what are you hoping exactly to find there? I noticed metal detectors were being used, so is there other evidence that you're looking for as well? Uh, look, uh, as the deputy has indicated, we're before the court now. Uh, we won't be making any comment about what our intentions are in relation to that place. Are police divers involved? 
the uh, divers have been involved in the sense of giving us some guidance in relation to the uh, extent of the search where there's water and uh, it may be that we need to involve those uh, divers at a later stage uh, if the search uh, is expanded. Uh, not at this stage. Uh, the water's reasonably shallow where we're working at the moment uh, and it's unknown as to um, the depth of the water as we progress out. Uh, we are currently uh, conducting a thorough search, and uh, that's all we can make. At this, the only comment about this. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Confirm that you started training at Dan in the search site. Uh, we have not at this stage. How difficult are those conditions? Uh, how hard is it to be effective in your search? Uh, it, it's labour intensive, as you would appreciate. Uh, the uh, mud is quite heavy, uh, and once the uh, mud is moved from the lower area up to where it's been examined, uh, that's quite a simple uh, non-labour process. But certainly the initial stage is uh, quite labour intensive and it's a credit to those people who have worked long hours to date to um, progress the search. Had this area been searched previously? Uh, I'm not making any comment about any searches. How big is this search area? How many kilometres? Kilometres? Uh, uh, no, it's the primary search, uh, as indicated by the uh, air uh, photos from media, is, is a good indication of the search area. So you already have that information. Basically, the area around the dam, Well, the, the immediate search area, which is what I call the primary search area, it, it could be determined that perhaps it's about as big as this room, uh, but of course that could expand at a later date. What equipment's being used in the search? Oh, look, there's a combination of things, right down to the standard shovel up to quite sophisticated uh, equipment that is able to uh, separate um, mud and water. But can I just confirm the immediate search area is only the size of that's, that's exactly right. And how, about how much are you getting through each day? Is it possible to say, you know, it's taking five hours to do a square metre? Or? Uh, I'm not able to say, as you would, would have seen from the footage, it's uh, quite a difficult area because of the water and, and the uh, swamp-type environment that we're operating in. How long exactly has the search been going now? I'm not going to answer that question. Um, are there any plans to drain the dam? Uh, can't uh, make that decision at this stage. So basically you just don't want people to be expecting big things in the next hours or days? I, th I think that's a very fair comment. We're just trying to put before you some of the difficulties that do confront us. As I said, the passage of time, uh, some environmental factors and uh, events that have occurred, weather events over the years. Uh, obviously have had a significant impact on the current search area and other areas that we may move to. So um, quite a lot has changed and uh, so we just want to make it clear to everybody that we expect this is going to take quite a long time and that um, the expectations of, as to what we might find are going to be influenced by those factors that I've just spoken about. It must be needled in a haystack stuff, would it? No, well it's just, as I say, um, the, uh, the area has changed over time because of those factors. So what it was like eight years ago is clearly, like most parts of the landscape, is not exactly what it's like today. And those things all impact on the, uh, the difficulty of the search activity. You consider that you may find very little, if anything at all. When do you actually give up? Uh, not for a long time yet. So months, you'd be at the modest? As long as it takes, whatever it takes. That's our commitment. So until the whole area is searched? Until we have exhausted every possible avenue of search and we will not walk away from that search until there is no avenue left and no hope left of us finding something and that's our very clear commitment. Do you, do you make it clear from the beginning to both Bruce and Denise that you may find nothing there? Oh, let my, yeah. okay. I've spoken to bo both uh, Bruce and Denise and they're aware of the challenges in front of us and uh, after visiting the uh, scene yesterday uh, they um, understand the commitment of the Queensland Police Service and all those agencies assisting us and they are totally supportive of our current position.